Hi guys, we're at HMP Manchester, also known as Strange Ways. This is the visitor's centre, this part here. The Manchester Prison, Manchester is a nice security men's prison in Manchester, England, operated by Your Majesty's Prison Service. It was formerly referred to as Strange Ways, which was its former name dividing that the, the area in which it is located until it was rebuilt following a major riot in the, in 1990. It's at 1 South Pole Street, Chetham Hill, Manchester, m 69 h And I'm saying we'll put your we'll information underneath. As we say, it's a Category A prison. Population, as of the 5th of May 2020, was 750. The Governor is Rob Knight. They are saying it's a Category A prison. That's the uh, gatehouse there. It was designed by Alfred Waterhouse and opened in 1868. Grade listed two building. So far, this was making a need for you guys. That is being done for drugs and drug gang. Hi. Yeah. Pinnock, photographer. Yeah. Photography is not a crime. Yeah. So, as I said, guys, there was a major riot here in the 90s where they went on the road, so we'll put your information underneath for you guys. This looks like an old cell, doesn't it? It's the old prison. It's a, a, like an old cell type uh, thing. You, they did do executions here as well. Yeah. Did you say before it's like, 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 a, a, like the old uh, get out of this part. And the people who got on here as well. Mm. But there's a good good list of them. Yeah, there's an officer there. The, the last hanging it says here was 1964. Yeah. I said the riot in 1991. It was the riot was between the 1st of April and the 25th of April, 1990. 147 staff and 47 prisoners, uh, 47 prisoners were injured in a series of riots by prison inmates. There were one fatality amongst the prisoners and one prison officer died for, 
without failure. Much of the old prison were damaged or destroyed in the riots. Several of these men were charged with various offences. Uh, the variety in the Wolf Inquiry and the prison were rebuilt and renamed the Majesty's Prison of Manchester. Repairs and everything cost, said it cost 80 million after the riots and it was completed in 94. But it's had suicides and all sorts of this prison. A lot of corruption as well. Yeah, I'm saying. We'll pull this information underneath from him. It's a huge prison. It's absolutely huge. But I'm saying there's some hangings in here as well. Got CCTV on it, guys. Don't know if you can notice okay. in front of us, just there. Uh, it also says that uh, this uh, prison has uh, tra uh, education and vote and stuff from uh, Majesty's College courses, including information technology, uh, numeracy, industrial cleaning, brick laying. Painting, decorating, plastering, textiles and laundry. It also has a gym, which covers the physical education. And offers a sports and fitness programme. In 2015, it was a part of the drone aircraft that had been used in an attempt to deliver drugs in here. Radio and a station smartphone. across the road, Sounds Radio, Asian mm. radio station guys. I think. So basically, a drone's been used to take drugs in here as well. In 2015. We said we'll put the parts in. A lot of uh, the no-fly uh, drone signs. Oh yeah, but they, they said there was drone two thousand fifteen. Got part of delivering drugs in there. Yeah. Which I said we'll put the information underneath for them. And a, a, a smartphone. Mm hmm. Um, and it's been done for. Uh, let's have a look. As like I said, so category A prison. Drug gangs, not sorts, basically. This prison. Hmm. As I said, there was all for top right. Yeah. It's on Southall Street, Cheetham Hill, in Manchester, which is M sixty nine A H. It's closed and opens two p.m. Tuesday. It just says on here. It's the Monday might affect these hours bits basically. Oh, so. Right. I said the governor said it's from Bob Knight. They've got the. Uh, 750 prisoners as of May 2022. Opened 1868. It is up and back. Oh, it is. Managed by your Majesty's Prison Service. So that's all prison down there as well. Near yeah, where Van Eyre is. And this is prison all here. All this is prison. All this is prison. Yeah. You've got like a walkway. Yeah. All this is, all this is prison, guys.
there was uh, said to have uh, climbed the roof on here in the uh, 80s, I think it was. No, it was uh, 1990 when they did the riots. Yeah. The and they paper. actually climbed the roofs, they said, um, due to um, circumstances of the prison inside. Um, apparently it wasn't fit for the uh, prisoners it was holding. It was all on national uh, news. Right, it says, construction of the Great Two Lister building was completed in 1869 and was opened on the 25th of June 1869 to replace the new Bailey's prison in Salford, which closed in 1868. The prison designed by Arthur Waterhouse in 1862, with input from John, Jordan Jepp, cost 1,170-000 and had the capacity of 1,000 inmates. It's 234 feet, which is 71 metres, versus tower, also mistaken for a watchtower, has become a, land, a local landmark. The prison walls, which were reaffirmed to 16 foot thick, are said to be it here from either side of the prison. So it's all the way, all, all the way down there. Yeah. It's like a big thing, walkway. The prison has a number of separate systems, which is planned in the in the form of a star of a snowflake with two blocks Not housing old, ten like wings that equal from a central car with the bell tower is situated. The, the, the prison consists of two radial blocks branching from the centre car with a total of ten wings A, B, C, D, E and F in one block and G, H, I, K in the second block. Huge place. It's absolutely huge. It's a huge place. Right, they said they were right here in the uh, 90s. There's an officer. What's going in there, guys? Execution. It's uh, original prison consists contained an education shed in B Wing and after World War One a special education room and cell for condemned criminals were built. Stranger is one of the few prisons to have a permanent gallows. The first execution at Strange Ways was that of 20 year old murderer Michael Jordanson, who was hanged by William called Corp on the 20th of March 1869. 29 hangings took place over the 20, next 20 years and 71 took place in the 20th century, bringing the total number to 100. During the second half of the century, the number of executions decreased with no hangings between 1964, uh, 1954 and the 28th of November 1962. While John, jo, while jo, uh, Jane Smith was executed, John follows A.K. alias Gwen Owen Evans, one of the last two people to be hanged in England, was executed here on the, 8th, 12, uh, the 13th of August 64. Out of the 100 hangings, four were double hangings, which, well, the rest were done individually. The quickest standing of James Olive in seven seconds carried out by our pit bird took place here. We say we pour this information from the for you. And all the people who sadly got what on here.
that's the clock tower, that's the tower. In the middle, can you see it? Yeah. That's your tower. I think that is there. It's the tower. Yeah. So it's famous for. Looks like they need some new signage. They started putting Crown property no unfortunate I I'd access. Unfortunate I unauthorised access. On a lot of it now, yeah. if you've noticed. Huge prison, guys. It's absolutely huge. Dad, I'm just looking down there. I'm just looking down there. Looks like you can get to the back where the fences are. Yeah. It's down here. Yeah. See the fences here? Yeah. Doubt it. Because that's where they all climbed up roofs here. You know, if you look at the BB... Yeah, there. but you need to get that, that picture of all... Of that, that type of thing, that, that thing. The tower, that's the type, that's the roof that that guy climbed on. That's like the, that's the roof where that guy climbed on. If you look at the look at the yeah. news, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, both mostly. That part there. Yeah. But they've got exercise yards here. Yeah. On top, got exercise yards. Aren't they? Yeah. That's going into that like that van place. Yeah. It's a filthy area though. Yes, it's a filthy area, amount of rubbish and stuff about. Acorns, eh? <coughs> Not acorns, cones. Cones, whatever. Look at rubbish though, here. Pine cones. Mm. This is that. Yeah, this is your visitors' uh, centre. Center. Follow the way in. And Need some new sides. No, there.
That's a visitor's centre, Dad. There's your towel, there's your towel, a bit more of your towel, towel. Yeah. Love his reaction to slamming the gate when it's perfectly legal. <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> you notice how he slapped gate in anger then. Walk round here. You see that? Yeah. It's so it's so ag so angry. I must slam the gate. <laughs> Do you know why it is? Because I don't like the corruption when you turn people the corruption that's happening in these places. Prison officer there. Call the police, call the police. It's doing something that's perfectly illegal. Call the police. <laughs> that was like the old uh, gatehouse. It's like there's still cells in these though, Dad. They've blacked them out though, if you look. Yeah. This is the oldest prison. This would be the old prison and I think go around it. That's the tower now. Yeah. This is a huge place though. Yeah. That's the roof there though, that, that, that guy climbs that yeah. climbed on. Yeah. That's here. The tower. Yeah. Another prison yeah. officer coming down. It's called a ventilation tower. Ventilation shower. tower. Tower, it's called mm. Stranger Ways Ventilation Tower. Basically, uh, 
prisoners were buried in unmarked graves within the prison walls. Mm. In here as well. In here. Crazy, isn't it? Another school. So they're saying they were, they were actually buried inside the prison walls here. Yeah. yeah. A lot, 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 lot down, Dad. A prison. The cells are a mixture of single and double. How many? Uh Prisoners lost the lives when it was a riot. It, when they were the riot, 147 staff and 47 prisoners were injured in a series of riots by the inmates. One fatal prisoner died, and one prison officer died of heart attack. Much of the old prison was damaged and basically got. Uh, we done. We were completed in '94, which I pulled this information from Jamie. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. In 2017, a part of Independent Monitoring Board described Manchester Pizzle a squalid within infatuation and thought of Dickens and education they thought added that prison early needs modernization and the salt and staff are visually just due to staff shortage which are bothered me as well with forms of prison a lot underneath anyway so it's really I say category A their majesty's Manchester, aka Straightways. National Offenders Management Service, it's just on site. Ministry of Justice. Ministry of Justice. Prison service. Police sector. Prison. That's like the gatehouse there. Yeah, that's the, that's the new gatehouse. Yeah. That's the new gatehouse, the other one's that. And that's yeah. the old prison, I said. Yeah. All yeah, oh, this is, this is like modern to bed. Yeah. The old one used to be. Yes. It's like the new, the new part of it and then yeah. you go on to the old part. Well that's the old part, that one there. Yeah. And that's, this is your new section. Then you have that one across the road. I wonder if that's what they do with inmates circle behind them so they can attack them. Uh, well, I've seen track with me, I bit the puppy bed drop.
I wonder if that's what they do in there, circle behind them and then smack them at back at head. That's the new part. This is the old part here. <coughs> so that's the new guy. What do you say? See that? See, see that, look, guys? And then two policing officers decided to circle behind us just because they didn't want to be on film. I wonder they... if they do that with prisoners and then smack them at back at head. Yeah, I said, this is the old section, as I said. It's like a prison van type thing. They're police vans down here. Yeah. Let's have a look. That's, a, that's the old gatehouse. Yeah. That's the old gatehouse. Let's have a look down here. Uh, I'm fascinated in these vans, that's their police. <laughs> what they actually are. Never seen these before. It's not actually marked out, they're actually marked out as police. It just says police on back. Yeah. This part of prison, Dad. Training centre. This is training centre. Yeah. It's a van there, that's this place, it's a bit. Well, it is great at Manchester Police, guys. They must, they must then, when there's a riot or something like that, go into this van and zoom down in the riot gear. I'm presuming. I'm saying I've seen one of these vans before. Wow. Bit fascinating. I'm gonna walk that lot around anyway and then come back down. Hmm. Then there's mainly businesses up here. Yeah. I'm about to spin around and go back. Yeah, it's about time to be in then. I've never seen these, these police vans before. No. Bit fascinating. Fascinating these vans, aren't they? <laughs> Excuse me, what are these vans by any chance? What are these vans? I've never seen a police van like this, normally they have lights and everything. No, these we, we carry um, tents and things like that, you know, oh, right. scenes and stuff like that. All oh, right. I'm saying, wondering what the what what the what that's all there. I've never <laughs> seen. <laughs> it's like where we 
pick up on it. It tells you what side <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're from West Yorkshire side, so basically. Yeah. Oh, right. So I've never seen <laughs> these. So. <laughs> I saw a police sign, and I think, I'll, I'll ask you, because you, he'll know what it is, because it's a police officer, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just doing some photography, that's all, mate, right. and, and just walk, okay, walking well, around, so. Right, right, well, just be careful, because obviously you've got strange ways there. You don't want to be... Filming strange face. Yeah. 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 Right, nice yeah, talk to you, mate. Cheers. Yes, I've got the carry tents and stuff. Yeah, this is the same. Yeah, it's like a Wyatt. Yeah. Building Training place. Center. Yeah. Carry tents and stuff. Yeah, to cra to crank. No, that's the no, isn't it? Is it that's the old guy? No, that uh, police officer uh, seemed a nice guy, guy, nice guy, guys. And that's kind of our reaction we want with the police. Definitely, totally told, told you what they was in for. Yeah. Right? And we didn't have to think it. Just ask him a nice, simple question. He gets the answer. I think uh, that police officer actually gets a uh, pass, guys. Definitely. Uh, looks like he's from the riot uh, team of here and all, doesn't he? Yes. So I think this time, guys, except those screws circling us, mm. uh, I think they get a uh, 50 50 this time. Uh, it does strange ways. You agree? Definitely. So, uh, it's a huge, huge prison though. Yeah. And I mean, it's huge. Got gates up in there. Deliveries, guy. Well, guys. No, let's just go in, in guys. Is a nurse. Yes, yep, nurse is uniform on. There's nurses going in there, guys. Fetting masks down and stuff. San and sanitising. Some work. HMP Manchester or HMP Strangeways? They're Manchester Prison Manchester now, isn't yeah. it? But AKA was Strangeways. Hope you enjoyed it guys. And uh, stay safe. September 2015, I was working for prison service at Manchester. I injured my shoulder. Um, I ended up being on the sick for about 11 months. Um, that culminated with me being finished by the prison service. 
uh, August the 2nd, 2016. So, around about November time, I was in a pretty bad place, not only getting a physical injury, my mental health weren't good either. A lot of things in while you're in the prison service, a lot of negativity about prisons and prison officers and nothing positive. And I, I had a mind to write a book. I knew from friends and that people are interested in the prison, prison service. Um, it was going to be therapy and, and also it, it'd be somewhere to, to, to put the job out there so that people would know exactly what it was like working as a prison officer because people didn't. Once I got injured, um, we go back to 2.15, and I went to the doctor, and my physical health was bad. You know, my blood pressure was horrendous. My doctor basically said, you know, you're gonna have a stroke or heart attack, there's nothing, nothing a certain. Then the PTSD contributed to me downfall because when you're unwell, I got a physical injury, and you know, I don't do physical injuries well. I was frustrated, I couldn't drive, I couldn't do anything, so that, that frustrated me. I'd got my physical health then that was, was bad, you know, I was on loads of medication and that weren't doing anything. But on top of that, your mind, it's just not shutting down. 24 hours a day, trying to sleep, you're just prison, incidents, not all of them unpleasant. You know, I would re recount things that, that that to normal people would think, well, what are you thinking about that for? But you can't, you can't control your mind or your thought process. The job's got a lot worse, far, far worse since I left. It's become a very violent place to work, and I'm quite passionate about it. You know, you, th th there's people doing a job, and it's a thankless task. Every single day, uh, prison officers are being assaulted, stabbed, battered, kicked, spat at, abused, and, and no one knows about it. So, you know. It, sort of making it a, a bit of a mission. Like I say, without being political, put it out there and let people know exactly what, what it's about, really. If there's prison officers that read that book, or ex-prison officers struggling to cope with normal life when they leave, and I've got some good friends who've recently left, you know, a couple of nurses, one of them it's taken a 12 months to put it out of the system, another 18 months. I'm two and a half years still trying to put it to bed. If somebody reads that and thinks, yeah, it's affected me, you know, then then put it out there.